the happiness of being able to live in good health and security. Such affluence is so normal for Japanese today that we take it for granted. But we mustn't forget about the years of hard work and sacrifice to which our forefathers devoted themselves to get us here. Right after World War II, Japan looked nothing like what it is today. Conditions were poor, with widespread poverty and disease. Even under such conditions, local communities were involved in cooperative efforts for the prevention and treatment of disease, as well as health care and education. People participated in community health activities, and public health nurses and doctors public health centers and government agencies tried desperately to protect the health of local residents. This video introduces real-life examples of how people, public health nurses, and whole villages conducted health activities. The Hiroshima Environment and Health Association encourages and cooperates with local residents to perform various health activities, including environmental studies. Its chairman, Mr. Hidenobu Aoki, acted as a liaison between the administration and the community when he was a prefectural officer. <laughs> その失業救済という意味で、あの、ま、各保健所にも、あの、名前は補助衛生関心という名前をつけたんですけども、そういう人を300人も400人も、その失業救済の費用で、ま、雇ってくれるということで、ま、雇ったわけなんですが、で、その
アメリカのこのこういうふうなそのどれぐらい偉いかいうとですねアメリカ合衆国の連邦政府の外注駆除を25年間やった人がこの人なんです、うん、その人がここへ来て、うんえー、これはすごいとこう言うて言われたというんですからね、うん、小学校でねハイドル運動員なんですよちょっと毎日ハード取ってね持ってってあの紙広げてね、うん、数々数数えるんですよ、うん、で何匹でそれを毎日棒フラをこう書いてね、うん、クラスごとに競争なんですよ、うん Like Hiroshima, many communities in Japan were suffering from outbreaks of pests such as flies and mosquitoes that spread germs. However, due to lack of public funds, the only way for the residents to protect themselves was through solidarity and good judgment. ハッセーゲン対策をやろうという一つの考え方を持ったわけですね。じゃあハッセーゲンとは何ぞやということでその一つは竹藪の切り株であったり、それから墓の花立てであったり、要するにありとあらゆるハッセーゲンをあの見つ
Suzaka City in Nagano Prefecture has an abundance of nature and is richly cultivated with fruits such as apples and grapes. It was even known abroad as a city of silk from the Meiji era to the early Showa era. However, when the silk industry slumped due to the Showa economic depression, Suzaka was plunged into poverty. This happened when it was still a village called Takaho before it became Suzaka City. The farmers in Takaho were forced by necessity to work hard from early morning till midnight. Especially farm wives had a heavy burden of housework and childcare in addition to farming. Japanese farm wives traditionally were at the lowest position of the family hierarchy. Even when they fell ill, they were not given the chance to see a doctor. Moreover, the village suffered from a multitude of problems, such as parasite infestation and a high infant mortality rate. It was the community public health nurses who meticulously dealt with such health needs. Ms. Oba is one such person who has devoted most of her life as a community public health nurse. Today, she is stopping by an area she used to be in charge of. She seems to be still concerned about the condition of those she cared for all those years ago. Back then, the toilets were outdoor vault toilets, and the excrement which contained parasites was used as fertilizer for growing vegetables. The parasites attached themselves to vegetables and entered the human body through ingestion. The vicious cycle of breeding, laying eggs, and being used as fertilizer was repeated. After the Suzaka Public Health Center was established in 1944, Ms. Oba worked in tight cooperation with the center. They carried out stool examinations, parasite control activities, health checkups for infants, young children, and their mothers. As a result, the infant mortality rate dropped dramatically. However, a new problem arose. It was the increase of maternal deaths related to abortions. As a protector of the health of the villagers, Ms. Oba pressed the people to accept that induced abortions were dangerous for the mother's body. And she taught them how to use modern family planning methods. Ms. Oba visited the home of an old couple, with whom she is still close. ね、父ちゃんとかちゃん、2人で必ず出席しなさいって this Oshidori Kai took a very unique approach. First, convincing married village leaders to attend. Then, asking village leaders to press in-laws to accept and allow younger couples to attend the meetings easily. The importance of family planning became clear through the meetings. However, many people were embarrassed to openly buy contraceptives. 
Then, a circular condom sales approach called the Love Box was introduced. The Love Box was packed with condoms and was passed from house to house. The couple could take the number of condoms they needed and place the money in a locked box. It became very popular because it could be used without others knowing. The number of abortions decreased dramatically thanks to the persistent efforts by the community health nurses, including the Oshidori Kai. Ms. Oba believed that the part of the community health nurse's job was to win the hearts of the villagers. So, she actively participated in self-study classes by young men's associations and housewives' associations and provided hygienic education and nutritional guidance. She formed the Voluntary Workers for Household Health, called Hoken Hodoin in Japanese, and nurtured important personnel who were essential for health examinations for infants and young children, prenatal checkups, and parasite extermination. Hoken Hodoin worked for two-year terms and contributed greatly to improving people's health. This system is still in place. To date, in every one of four households in the city, at least one person has been a Hoken Hodoin. This person was also a Hoken Hodoin in its 20th term. The enthusiasm of one community health nurse got many villagers involved in various activities and raised their awareness of the need to change their living habits. Sawauchi Village in Iwate Prefecture is located in a mountainous area and has heavy snowfall in winter. It is common to have over three meters of snow. In the old days, the roads were buried under deep snow in winter, making them impossible to negotiate. The villagers became isolated in winter and could not get help for any emergency. Wanting to save the village, one man stood up. ね、あの、深田正夫先生、ここにありますが、18代尊長さんですが、この方私の恩師です。ある時ですね、委員と 豪雪新婚旅を足しの Mr. Fukazawa was elected as the village mayor upon the single promise of saving the lives of the villagers. The village was poor because of the heavy snow, and due to this poverty, infants died one after another. Insisting that the key to solving these problems was secure winter traffic, he spent a third of the village's budget on bulldozers. Mm -hmm. 
当時だったから議会は引き継になってしまって、うん、お前たちは自分たちで働いてこの金を返せっていうわけだ,、うん、だそれでも村長をやるっていうから少年やると。What can you do with just two bulldozers? The bulldozers were used tirelessly despite constant ridicule. As a result, the one thing they never thought would happen, winter traffic, became a reality. Another thing Mayor Fukuzawa attempted was to use the bulldozers throughout the year. In the winter, they were used to secure winter traffic, and in the summer, they were used to clear farmlands. Small rice paddies were cleared and expanded for mechanization of farming. Fukazawa was the son of the son. 政府に米を売ったのが7800票なんですよ、うんうん、ところがその53年の統計を見ると7万5千票なんです、うん、だから深澤正夫は命を守るだけじゃなくて村の人々の所得を上げて暮らすをこうね高めていくっていうのは。両民のそのねお仕事をさ、うん、の基礎をこうね気づかれた、うん、あ方だなと思ってます、うん、ねあの頃所得倍増、うん、所得倍増いうあたりだよね<笑>そ,うそういうあたりなんだよな先書きで<笑> Once a well-known traditional Japanese music composer Kasho Machida visited the village and wrote the verse It was a while back when Sawauchi was worth 3,000 Goku, but now it's worth 30,000 Goku and more. In fact, the rice crop increased tenfold through the increase of the rice planting area brought about by the clearance of the farmlands. In addition, mechanization was promoted and the farmer's physical burden was reduced dramatically. Nowadays, no matter how much snow falls, the villagers feel safe as their access is secured since snow removal work is carried out from early morning. While solving traffic and economic problems, Mayor Fukazawa sought a way to improve the villagers' health. He chose Sawauchi Village Hospital as the nucleus for that. The current director of the hospital says that the hospital should be a space not only for medical care, but also for communication for the villagers. During lunchtime, people chat in the central hall of the hospital. Dr. Kunio Kato, a former director of the hospital, together with Mayor Fukazawa, founded Sawauchi's comprehensive health service system. Back then, deaths by pneumonia among the elderly and children were particularly high. And among those aged in their 30s and 40s, deaths by stroke were quite common. もう一生飯塩で食べて果汁濃度。で頭下げて脳卒中のあたり前。その時が入ってくるんですよ。赤ちゃんの顔に診察してる時にこういうところがこうあの杉間が空いて、その時が入ってくるの。そういう状態があった
住宅改善しなきゃならねえっていう気持ちになったんじゃないでしょうか、うん、やっぱり環境問題やっぱりきっちりしないと、うん、健康問題は解決しないっていうんだ、うん、そんな気持ちがあったんでしょうね Back then, houses were thatched, and in the winter protected by snow fences to prevent snow from coming inside, which also blocked out sunlight, making the inside dark. Houses had open fire spaces for cooking and heating, filling the air with smoke and causing high incidence of trachoma. In response, Dr. Kato started a house improvement project immediately. He raised the substructure of the house by one to two meters and put a workshop or farm implement storage room on the dark first floor. The roof was steeply sloped so that snow would be removed smoothly and windows were enlarged to admit more light. Elements from Dr. Kato's housing design continue to be used in housing design today. Besides the house improvement project, Dr. Kato began taking actions one after another, utilizing the knowledge of preventative medicine he learned in graduate school. He moved the healthcare section of the village to the hospital for close cooperation between the government and the hospital. He also opened a community health nurses counseling room at the hospital. He also formed the village health statistics system to better grasp the health condition of the 6,000 villagers. Medical records of patients were collected and summarized to identify the trends of villagers' illnesses and deaths. The village also set up a district health committee to convey the residents' voices to decision makers. Furthermore, the free medical care service for the elderly and infants was realized as proposed by the head of the welfare division. It created a strong foothold for preventative medicine, which was Dr. Kato's mantra. Dr. Kato's plans were immediately accepted by Fukuzawa's and put into motion. Then, enthusiasm by the staff, such as the community health nurses, made it possible to carry out the project. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Sawauchi village suddenly attracted the attention of the whole country. Mayor Fukazawa's strong, unwavering will and determination, Dr. Kato's comprehensive health care plan for the village, and the devoted staff's efforts enabled the village to overcome the triple woes of heavy snow, poverty, and disease that had long tormented the villagers. Here, we have introduced only a few examples from the numerous community health practices under the post-war dire environment in Japan. You may catch a glimpse of the fundamental essences that could be keys to developing community health. First, we need to clarify existing problems, formulate a rational solution, and implement it. We should start with things that show quick or easy results. We should then think of ways that make it easy for people to take action. Then, people become more motivated and activities expand further. Needless to say, most activities should be done by the individual residents in the community. But in order to unite them and bring out their motivation and power, there must be a leader, staff, and supporters who acts with conviction to unite, motivate, and bring out the community's strength. Children growing in health. The elderly enjoying long, healthy lives. Japan today proves that no matter how poor or terrible the condition is, it can be improved if the people work together under community leaders with enthusiasm and imagination. Strong beliefs and persistent effort become the energy to protect precious life. <laughs> 